Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here I hope you're doing all fine let's have a look on the Bitcoin price because we are still trapped below $9,000 and we have different bearish but also bullish uh, signs currently I'm not in a trade even though I wanted to short this breakout here to the downside but since we have still some uh, bullish signals and also we have a future gap now up here at around 9200 I still think it could be too early right now to short my target is still to reach this 8000 possibly even down to $6,200 to start longing or buy back in into Bitcoin what I took profits out here but it looks like currently that Bitcoin maybe try again to fight here this $9,000 area possibly at least till we're gonna close this future gap and then see a decisive breakout to the downside or in the bullish scenario we start to trade again in this uh, triangle here and possibly go higher towards $10,000 and maybe also break it it's really undecisive right now guys i'm still not trading even though there are still too many longs in my opinion compared to the shorts so if the price continue to drop here we could see a huge waterfall to the downside so here in, in the bigger picture, it still looks bullish, even though we lost here the support. So in theory, we could drop easily at any time here to the downside. The question is only, are we able to break again this new resistance up here at around $9,100? or are we seeing a breakdown now? And I think that it's very likely that first we're going up to close the CME gap here at the new resistance, maybe start to fight this resistance. And in case that we get rejected, we're gonna see a big waterfall to the downside. So currently I'm still waiting. I want to see what will happen once we're gonna touch again this resistance here and also possibly fill the future gap that we have here at around 9,200 dollars so here in the one hour we start now with the smaller time frames it looks like that we could be here in this potential falling wedge here of course we could wait here for a breakout to play here the breakout to the upside or to the downside normally these falling wedges are very bullish patterns so we usually break out to the upside and the target here would be where we started here with this uh, falling wedge so it would be at around uh, $9,900 I'm not very convinced that we could reach the target but um, maybe we're gonna see a breakout here initially and then we have to see where we're gonna top out so if we have a look here it looks like that we are coming very close to the resistance point up here which is currently at around nine thousand dollar you see also that currently we are trading right at the 20 moving average rsi is at the 50 level and stochastic over sold so it's gonna really be very important how we're gonna break out from this small triangle this small rising wedge that we created now in this falling wedge and that's why i'm still not in a trade i want to see what is the next step and where we're potentially getting strong resistance there maybe i gonna start to open longs or shorts depending where we're gonna have this breakout and where i see signs of a potential stop if the breakout is happening to the upside because here this 9100 to 9200 will be very strong resistance now it can go even up to nine thousand five hundred dollars area before we seeing a rejection and that's why currently I'm very careful because I think a very big move is coming and that's why also you have to be prepared for all scenarios if you don't want to risk to trade with the leverage for example over on Bybit or Femix then maybe just consider to take out some fiat if you want to be ready for all scenarios and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the one hour also here you can see that we're squeezing again into this tiny Bollinger Band currently we're still trading in the lower part so a potential breakout here towards 9000 is very likely to come very soon to test again here the top area MACD is quite flat we could have a bearish cross but uh, let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours I think latest till uh, tonight we're gonna have here a breakout to the upside or a potential drop here towards again the support which is currently at around $8,500 so this fib line over here
and now we can head over into the four hour time frame because here is very important what will happen in the next couple of hours if we're gonna see a breakout because currently we're still struggling to close candles above the 200 moving average in the four hour and we're still trading below the 20 moving average in the four hour so if you see that we close here a four hour candle above nine thousand dollars so above the 20 moving average and also bring the rsi above the 50 level again this could indicate that we're gonna see a big move to the upside here because the rsi is still below the 50 so right now we are having this 50 level in the rsi as a resistance same like we had over here so we have to close here a four hour candle above and also bring the rsi above the 50 in order to be shifted again to the upside otherwise the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame will give us very very strong resistance stochastic is also overbought here so also here it could be that we will cool off here a bit so it is possible that we are getting rejected here again but this is what we have to see and wait what will happen and that's why also you should be signed up on my free discord trading chat because always when something important is happen usually the people or me are putting this here over on discord so make sure to join also the discord trading chat and if i'm on the computer i always go live when something important is happening over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch channel you find all the links down below here in the video description of the youtube video and we can go over now to the bollinger band in the four hour because here we are also trading here in the lower part we still have the middle area of 9k holding as a resistance currently so also here we have to break this 9k in order to be again trading here in the top area with a resistance of around nine thousand three hundred dollar which i think is very likely to happen very soon especially if we break out from this pattern and close a four hour candle above the 20 moving average so this is what would be my target in case that i will along this in case that i see a breakout to the upside 9300 would be my target here where also uh, then the cme gap would have been uh, filled which is at around 9200 dollar macd is shifted now to the upside so also this is looking quite nicely here we could be in for a pump towards 9200 to 9300 dollar here in the smaller time frames and now we go over to the daily because here if we zoom in a bit you can see that currently we're trading below the 20 daily moving average so even if we see a short lift uh, pump here towards 9300 but uh, we close the daily candle below the 20 daily so below 9000 dollar that would be very bearish in my opinion we would fill the gap and then start to trade again below the 20 daily so here in theory we need to close above 9070 dollars to be bullish again as long as we're not uh, closing a daily candle again above the 20 daily so again in this uh, potential bullish pattern that we were in the last couple of days and weeks i think uh, we could be in here for a bigger dump to to the downside potentially at first to the 200 daily here at 8000 and then maybe even uh, uh, go lower towards 6230 so the 0.618 fib line based on the move that we had from 3800 up to ten thousand dollar rsi is all the right at the 50 stochastic oversold so as i told you we will need to start to uh, pump right now otherwise uh, the momentum is still clearly shifted to the downside and the bulls are not showing up right now let's go all to the bollinger band although here bearish we're trading in the lower part so in theory we could uh, trade between 9300 down to uh, 8450 that's why i'm still more leaning into shorting in case that we're going towards 9300 than uh, longing the breakout and if i'm uh, longing then i will most likely put a stop loss or close it at this uh, level uh, around here or switch it into a short starting from nine thousand three hundred dollar macd is also shifted to the downside my opinion uh, currently doesn't look uh, too well and if we go over to the weekly we close this last weekly candle below the 50 and i still think that most likely we're gonna test here the 20 weekly at 8200 pretty soon uh, we have the stochastic overbought so also here it looks like that we could start to cool off here a bit the stochastic to the downside important is that we don't bring the rsi below the 50 
So in case that the, the RSI size is going again below the 50 like we had over here, we could be in for a massive uh, dump towards uh, this $6,230 uh, target. So hopefully this will not happen, but if so, what is also very likely to happen, that's why I have many buy orders in this area down here. This could be the last time that you can buy really cheap Bitcoins and that's why you should be prepared also for that scenario. And we can go also over to the Bollinger Band in the weekly time frame because this is the only chart which makes me still think that we could be in here for a massive bull run without seeing a dump and this is because currently here in the Bollinger Band we're still trading in the top area we have here the support at around $8,200 and the top of $11,000 so here it still looks like that we could be in for a massive run to the upside also MACD still shifted to the upside so here in the weekly even though we could go down to $8,200 it looks like that we are preparing here for a big big run to the upside but of course we could also easily top out here at 11,000 and then start the big dump that is also possible because also if we go in the past here also here you can see we had a bullish cross in the MACD also here we were trading here in the top area we came down to test the support but the support didn't hold we dropped significantly down here we even overshooted it to the downside then we retrace back into the middle area and currently we are trading again above so everything is possible also here in the weekly but based on the chart how it looks right now it looks like that we are having this support here and even if we drop down towards 8000 we should be able to start to trade again here towards 11000 dollar pretty soon and now we can also have a quick look on the monthly time frame because we are coming to the end of the month we still have uh, a couple of days uh, left but here in the monthly you can see that currently we're trading above the 20 monthly moving average which is at this uh, uh, fib line here the 0 0.382 at 7700 dollar there is also where a very tiny little future gap is lining up at 7700 dollar so it is likely that maybe we go down here to test uh, this moving average Average here and bounce from it uh, maybe within this month or next month which is at $7,700 RSI is right at the 50 stochastic cooled off here almost to oversold condition so in theory in the monthly here we are still looking very bullish so here it looks like that Bitcoin could have a big jump to the upside we have a lot of room to the upside here based on the stochastic and RSI and also we're trading above the 20 monthly moving average so here all in all it still looks very bullish the only thing that is concerning me a bit here in the monthly is that we had a big week to the upside here to 10,000 and came immediately back down here. So usually when we see these uh, big wicks uh, to the upside, then always a big correction on the opposite side happens like we also had here in the past. As you can see here when we had the run to 14,000 and same here at the all time high when we had the run up to $20,000. So this could indicate that first we're going to see here a potential test of the 20 monthly or even here at the 50 monthly moving average at $5,500. In any case, you should be prepared for all scenarios, guys. It's still looking very bullish for the long term, but we could be also in here for a bigger dump in the very short time frame, and that might be the, really the last opportunity to buy cheap Bitcoins. All right, and with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now, guys. Thank you again very much for watching. Thank you for your support. If you like the content, you can feel free to leave a like, leave me a comment, and also subscribe to the channel. Very appreciate. And also, if you need to trade over on Bybit, Femex, Primex, BT, or BTR, on these four exchanges, you can trade Bitcoin and other assets with a leverage up to 100x. And with my sign-up links, so if you're using my links down below here in the video description, you can get some uh, rewards rewards and sign up bonuses so go and take those bonuses because with that money you can trade without taking any risk so you can try to trade with the leverage and if you feel comfortable with it and if you do some gains of course you can also put some deposit and trade with it but uh, all in all these exchanges are the ones that i recommend and also you don't need any kyc nothing on them just put your email and everything is uh, done so thank you again very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye